Alright, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be upgrading the new Dell XPS 15 9510. Uh, I'll be installing the Samsung 98 Pro uh, NVMe 1 terabyte hard drive. Um, so let's get into it. First we got to take out these screws. I am going to be upgrading the RAM, um, but it's not here yet. I just went to Best Buy to buy this and I ordered the RAM on Amazon. So that should be coming in very shortly. Uh, but I'm just going to show you guys anyways what's on the bottom of this and how to install it. All right, so let's get started. Got to take this out. See the hard part. So after attempting to open the laptop, finally got it open, but that's how difficult it is to open one of these XPS 15s. All right, there we go. <laughs> Let's continue. All right, so once we pop this out, That's out of there. Okay. So as you can see, yep, there's no extra screw right here. So we're gonna have to use. Okay, first things first, let's take out the battery. Okay, you just pull out just like that, pretty simple. Be careful. Um, and I didn't get the RAM right now. It's coming in like two days, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. How would you replace these? It's really simple. Just go to the side. Boom, boom. Pops right out. Ooh, there you got one. And two. And to install it, pretty simple. Just put it in right here on an angle. Make sure it's all the way in, press down, same thing with the other one, all the way in, press down, that's all you have to do. Alright, now for the VNAND SSD 980, alright, so for this one, simple, only thing we're missing is the screw, okay, you're going to have this facing towards the opposite side. Just go ahead and put it in like that. And you're supposed to screw it down. Um, let, me get, let me go get a, I think I got an extra screw somewhere around here. Let me go get one. All right, so I'm just gonna use the extra screw that I had. All right, so, all right, once we're done with that, I don't want to put the battery back in. Plug it all back in. I did purchase a heat sink too. Make sure the battery's all the way in. Okay, good. All right, so we're all done with that. I did purchase an extra heat sink, so I'll put the link down below. Hasn't came in, obviously. But, uh, all right, let's put everything back together. Let put everything back together. Should pop in. If it doesn't pop in, then you're probably putting it wrong. Should all click back in. All 
All right, so let's go ahead and test it out before I screw it back in, make sure everything works. All right, so as you can see, it did read the new memory. Okay. All right, fingerprints good. Let's go check about. See what we're running at. This PC. All right, so as you can see, uh, it's still showing that it's not popping out. So you're just gonna wanna click on manage. And then you're gonna click on disk management. And it's gonna show you right here, unallocated. So all you're gonna wanna do is right click Click new simple volume and go through the wizard step. Okay, next. You're gonna wanna see what drive letter you're gonna wanna put it as. I'm just gonna keep it as D. Okay, format. I just leave everything right there and I'm gonna call this. Mm, let's see, what should I call it? BME? All right. Okay, you're just gonna wanna click finish. All right, we're gonna go back to this PC and it should show up right there now. One terabyte of NVMe storage. And that's it guys. That's all you really have to do. All right, peace out. Leave me a comment if you guys have any questions. Um, but that's all for this video. So thanks for watching guys, peace out.